section 5. Point, section 5.1, the areas between curves. We will use the integrals to find the areas of the region that lies between the graphs of two functions. In this section, we will consider two cases. The first case is the region that lies between two functions, as we can see on the graph f of x and g of x, and the limit on the left and the right is the value a and b. For all of the x's in that interval from a to b, function f of x is greater than g of x. We have to always pay attention to the relation. And then, in order to compute the area between two curves, we will integrate the difference f of x minus g of x with respect to x on the interval from a to b. f of x is upper function, g of x is the lower function. We can also look at this from the areas perspective, that this definition definitely definitely works. Having uh, an area under the curve f of x, okay, which is just a definite integral of the function f of x dx from a to b, and this means that we will take everything, okay, and then I will subtract the definite integral from a to b g of x dx. This means the area under the g of x above the x-axis, of course. And subtracting this, the subtraction will give me the area of the region S, which is our integral. Okay. Also, we have to be careful if the curve, uh, inter the both of the curves intersect, we will have the points of the intersection and at the points of the intersection, the functions are changing the position. That means we have to always make sure that we know which one is the upper function, which one is the lower function. This means that the general definition for the area between two curves will include absolute value, okay? but we have to find these points and split the interval a, b to the particular sub-intervals and with the, um, with the appropriate relation between f and g. Okay? That's, we have to be careful what to subtract, which function is the upper, which function is the lower. And then this is case two. We may also have a situation that we have function y in terms of x, which actually curve, let's say more curve, which will be defined um, the curve x in terms of y. Then it's much, much easier to get the area between these two curves using an integral with respect to y. And we can nicely see we have a limit of integration from c to d. We're looking at the y-axis and we will subtract the uh, right function minus the left one. Right minus the left. Okay, that's mean that's really really brief uh, theoretical part. Let's apply these formulas and let's solve a few problems. Okay, exercise number one: find the area of the region bounded by the graphs of the curve y equals to two root x plus one and the line y equals to x plus one. First of all, we have to find the points of the intersection. Points of intersection. 2 root x plus 1 must be the same like x plus 1. Subtracting, subtracting 1 from both sides, I have 2 root x and x. I can square both sides. Since my domain, it's only positive numbers because we do have a square root. Positive numbers actually plus zero. Positive, positive real plus zero. Then I will square both sides. I will have 
squaring 2, I have 4. Squaring square root of x, I have x, and then x squared. 4x minus x squared equals to 0. Factoring out x, we can see 0 and 4. That's the points of intersection. And let's see if this is true. I will draw a function. Square root of x times 2 will be a little bit higher curve and plus 1, I have to shift one unit up. Okay, this is my root function. And line is just the slope 1 and the y-intercept is also 1. Actually, this is 1. That means this point must be 4, based on my calculation. And we can nicely see a beautiful region between the root function and the line. Root function is on the top, yeah? upper function, lower function. Okay? And I will definitely use the case 1 integral. I will integrate with respect to x. This is my function top. And that's the, the upper, and this is the lower. Let's name y2. An area of the region is just the integral from 0 to 4, the top one minus the bottom one, with respect to x, of course. Integral from 0 to 4 to root x plus 1 minus x plus 1 with respect to x. And let's see. 2 root x plus 1 and minus 1 will give me 0 and minus x. Integrating square root of x. Square root of x is x to the power of 1 half. I will have x to the power of 3 halves over 3 halves. And 2 is a constant. Integral of x is just x to the power of 2 over 2 from 0 to 4. I will simplify this a little bit. Dividing by 3 halves means multiplying by 2 thirds. It will be 4 thirds. x to the power of 3 halves is the square root of x cubed minus half of x squared from 0 to 4. Substituting upper limit for square root of 4 and cube and 1 half, 4 squared. Substituting 0, I will get 0. I will not write this down. Square root of 4 is 2. 2 cube is 8. 8 times 4, 32 over 3. And 16, half of 16 is 8. I might... I will put that this is 8. 8, I can rewrite as a 24 over 3. And 32 minus 24, I think it's 8 over 3, is the final answer. And this is my choice. Exercise number 2. Find the area of the region bounded by parabola x squared and the line 2x. Points of intersection x squared must be the same, like 2x. x squared minus 2x is 0. Factoring out a common factor, we will get x and then x minus 2. x equals to 0 or x equals to 2. Both of them are in the domain. Domain is actually all of the numbers. However, we will get an interval um, based on these two points of intersection. We can nicely draw a function. Parabola x squared looks like that. And the line with the slope 2 and the y-intercept 0. 0, and this must be the point 2. We see a loop which is bounded by two curves. The upper function is the line 2x. The lower function, I will name y sub 2. It's parabola x squared. An area 
is defined as an integral from 0 to 2 because I will integrate with respect to x and I will subtract the lower function from the upper function. Integral from 0 to 2, 2x two minus x squared dx. Integral of 2x is just x squared. Integral of x squared, x cubed over 3. From 0 to 2. Substituting 2, 4 minus 8 over 3. Substituting 0 will give me 0. 4 is 12 over 3 minus 8 over 3. 4 thirds. That's the area of the yellow part. Exercise number three. Set up an integral expression for the area of the region enclosed by the curves square root of x and the line three halves minus half x and the x axis. Do not evaluate the integral. Okay, that means my curve is square root of x, 3 halves x minus half x, 3 halves minus half x, and the x-axis. x-axis is simply the horizontal line y equals to 0. We need the points of the intersection, but first of all, just draw a function. Square root of x looks like that. It's not decreasing. Looks like that. That's root x. And the line has a y-intercept, 3 halves, and slope negative half. That means I will draw like that. 3 halves. I don't know this, and I don't know that point. And the area that we're looking for is the square root of x, line, and the y-axis. That means it's actually this. It's actually this part. And we will definitely need that point of intersection because this will divide my region. Hey, I will need these two points. I will call them x sub 1 and x sub 2. They will divide the region for my integrals. From 0 to x sub 1, the square root function is on the top. From x sub 1 to x sub 2, the line is on the top. And that means that's how we, we have to split for two integrals. Okay, first of all, the points of the intersection, um, which means x sub 1. The square root must be 3 halves minus half x. Let's multiply everything by 2. Points of intersection. Let me organize. Uh, then I will have 3 minus x. Mm, okay, let's, let's square both sides. If I will square the left-hand side, I will have 4x. If I will square the right-hand side, I will have 9 minus 6x plus x squared. Organizing my quadratic equation, I will have x squared minus 10x plus 9. And I can say 9 and 1 minus and minus plus 1, okay? That means my values are 1, 9, and 1. But I'm assuming that my x sub 1, it's 1, right? Because where is the 9? Um, since um, we can actually see that 9 will not really satisfy the equation. If I will take this equation and substitute 9, because of that arithmetic operation, al algebraic operation, squaring both sides, we always have to be careful if my final answers works because squaring like negative 2 squared and positive 2 squared are the same values. 
However, negative two is not the same as positive two. That's the reason. And we may quickly check square root of nine, three halves minus nine halves. This is three, this is negative six over two, negative three. That's, that's what I just said. Negative three, I mean negative nine, it's not giving me the right answer. That means only one is my point, okay? Um, and I also need x sub two. x sub two is simply the, the x-intercept of the line. I can take this line, three halves minus half x, and three halves minus half x is zero, and I can solve for x. Multiplying by two, and adding and subtracting, I mean, this is simply three. Okay. Let's set up an integral for the region one. It will be integral from zero to one, square root of x minus the lower function, which is simply zero. The second part, the area of the second region is integral from one to three. Top function, three halves minus one half x also minus zero. Probably writing minus zero is a funny thing at the moment, but it's extremely important if the situation will be the other way. If zero will be the upper function, then we will change the sign. We probably remember, sometimes we do have like a negative answer and we are a little bit confused because we probably missing zero. In this case, it's not necessary, but I'm still using my property of like how to calculate the area between two curves. And based on the instruction, we do not have to integrate. Exercise number four, find the area enclosed by the curves parabola x squared and parabola 4x minus x squared. We know that parabola, no problem. This parabola, uh, will be open down and we do have to uh, two x intercept zero and four we can nicely see this but let's start with the points of intersection parabola x squared must be the same like four x minus x squared adding x squared and subtracting four x two x it's the common factor x is zero and x is two. That means zero and two are the com uh, points of the intersection. Okay, let's draw a situation. That parabola, nice and easy, x squared. This one, as I said, will be up and down and factoring out, looking for the x intercept, I will factor out x, four minus x. And if this is zero, x is zero and x is four, but that's only the x-intercept of this parabola, zero and four. Let me make, okay, that's zero and that's four. And this is my point of intersection too. We see again a really nice loop this function is the upper function for x minus x squared. This one is a lower function x squared. Let's integrate. In order to get an area of the yellow part, we have to integrate from zero to two, the upper function for x minus x squared minus x squared. Integral from zero to two, four x minus two x squared. And we have to integrate this. Integral of 4x is just 2x squared. Integral of 2x squared is 2x cubed over 3. Limits of integration from 0 to 2. We like 0 because it will, we will give us 0. Okay, 2. Uh, substituting 2. 2 squared is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. Substituting 2, 8. Uh, 2 cubed is 8 times 2, 16 over 3. 24 over 3, 
minus 16 over 3. Uh, I think it's again 8 over 3. We did have this answer before. Or maybe I am wrong. I'm not. Okay. That's my answer. Exercise number 5. Find the area of the region enclosed by the curve cosine of x, y equals to 0, on the interval from half of the pi to 3 halves of the pi. And we have the options. And we probably see that we may cancel out, we may remove this one right away. This is an area of the region. And I don't think it will be negative, right? Okay, that we have cosine and zero, points of the intersection. When cosine of x is zero. Cosine for what angle is zero? For pi over two. And also, for 3 pi over 2, okay? I mean, it looks, it looks like my um, interval. We may draw the situation. Cosine looks like that. Okay, this is pi over 2. This is pi. This is 3 pi over 2. And this will be 2 pi the whole period. And the maximum value, of course, is 1. Hey, it looks like we have that point of the intersection and the whole region is below the x-axis. Okay. In order to get an area, I will integrate from pi over 2 to 3 pi over 2. And now we can see this is the upper. That's my upper function, zero. And this is my lower function, of course, cosine of x. Upper minus lower. And we integrating with respect to x. From pi over two to three pi over two, zero minus cosine of x. I mean, that's really important. Otherwise, we will probably get negative two and we completely forgot about, like we completely like losing a common sense of the areas of the geometric concept and we will pick the negative answer. Of course, we may do this right away at the beginning of the question or remember about that zero. Of course, integral of um, zero is zero. We don't, uh, not integrating this, but I will copy negative. Integral of cosine is just sine of x. And from pi over two to three pi over two. We will have negative. I can actually keep this negative outside. Sine of three pi over two minus sine of pi over 2. Sine of uh, 3 pi over 2 is negative 1, and for pi over 2 is 1. And we can see we're getting negative 2 with that negative based on the concept. It's positive 2 is the final answer. Exercise number six, set up, but do not evaluate an integral that represents the area of the region enclosed by parabola y squared equals to x plus five and another parabola y squared equals to three minus x, which we can see that's the parabolas the other way because it's function x in terms of y, y squared minus five, and another x in terms of y, okay? We need points of the intersection and we definitely know that we will integrate in terms of y, the right function minus the left one. Ah, points of intersection, y squared minus five must be the same like negative y squared plus three. Two y squared minus eight, equals to zero, factoring out two, 
be getting y squared minus 4, y minus 2, y plus 2 y is 2 and y is negative 2. That's my point of intersection. Okay, let's draw these parabolas. I mean, now we do have the parabola the other way. For example, x equals to y squared will be the parabola open to the right. Okay, y equals to negative y, x, x, x equals to negative y squared will be parabola open to the left. And now minus 5 or plus 3 will shift to the left or to the right. What we have, we do have x equals to y squared, which will be open to the right, minus 5. I have to shift 5 units uh, to the left. OK, 5. Now. The second parabola, it's negative y squared. Parabola will be open to the left, plus 3. OK, three. And now my points of intersections are, uh, it's, I don't know if it's symmetric, but this point is 2, and this point is negative 2. And we have nice loop between these two parabolas. And we can see this one, that x is actually the right one. And this was the parabola open to the left, negative y squared plus 3. This one is the left one and is y squared minus 5. The area of the region is an integral between negative 2 and 2 with respect to dy. And I will subtract the right curve minus the left one. From negative to two, from negative two to two, the right is parabola open to the left. This one minus the um, the left one, y squared minus five, with respect to y. I mean, the final answer is parabola. I mean, the integral from negative two to two negative 2y squared, because we will distribute negative, and negative and negative 5 will be positive, 5 plus 3 plus 8 dy. And I believe this is the option, 8 minus 2y squared from negative 2 to positive 2. And that means this was the case too. And then I have an example for you, which actually I type the solution. Find the area of the region and, uh, bounded by the sine and cosine from 0 to pi over 2. And points of the intersections are cosine and sine has the same values for the angle pi over 4. And we can see this is nice sine and cosine. That's the point of the intersection and the interval of our desired region was from 0 to pi over 2. Then we remember I use my absolute value notation, but then I split for two integrals respecting the upper and the lower function. Cosine minus sine and then sine minus cosine respectively for the limits. And since the regions are symmetric, I will pick one of the integral and multiply by 2 because both of the values of the definite integral are the same. Okay, that's the final answer. Two root two minus one. You may pause the video and try to integrate this trigonometric integral. And I have another example to finish my session. Find the area of the region enclosed by the function x and x cube. The points of intersections are zero, negative one and one, and we can nicely see that's negative one, that's one and zero. And the region is this part, and we do have the points of the intersection in point of the intersection inside, they change in the position. Of course, if this will be a multiple choice question, do not pick the, the answer zero. Because you may see, I use my yellow ink and I definitely 
cover part of my screen. It's not zero. Okay? If I have to buy a fabric to cover this, I will buy a fabric. I will have an area I have to, will be definitely a positive value. Okay? And since we know that they are not, that everything is symmetric because both of the functions are odd functions, both of the regions are symmetric, I only pick a first part from zero to one and I multiply by two. And the top function is x, the bottom is x cubed. And then I integrate, that's easy. But the point, of course, is to set up a correct integral which represents the area between two curves. Thank you.